Hey guys, this is White Opera Bulge here, and I'm going to teach you how to create a Pokemon trading card game deck. Um, this is the basics that you need. You need basic Pokemon, because if you don't, you're disqualified, and you only need at least one. So, and you need energy cards to power up their attacks so you can use them, and items and supports and stadium cards to help out with the battles. So you can eat, balance up the odds and make your odds way greater than your opponents so you can win. And I'm going to make this into probably a two part video on how to build a card, tra a Pokemon training card game deck. So let's begin with the basics. I'm going to teach you some of my Pokemon abilities and all this other things of this nature so you can learn how to build them your own and make good decks and go to tournaments and win. First, I'm going to start out with my basic Pokemon. Um, that don't have any Pokebotters or Pokebodies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you about the ones I don't use anything with. So, yes, we're going to start with Snivy. Snivy, I have two of, which is one of my basic deck. I have two basic Pokemon in each of them. One first stage and one second stage. And I'll explain why later and during the videos. Snivy has 60 HP, and of course my deck is a grass type. And those tackle, one grass, does ten, vine whip, twenty, need two energies, one least grass, weakness is fire, resistance is water, one retreat cost. And we have a servine. ADHP. First attack and is wrapped is twenty. Needs any many energy cards you need, flip a coin if heads, a defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. Tackle does thirty, one grass and one normal. Weakness is fire, resistance water, and one retreat cost. Now we have Superior. 130 HP. The Vine Whip can use any two energies. Leaf Storm is 60. These two grass heals 20 damage from each of my grass type Pokemon. Weakness is fire, resistance is 20, and has no retreat. Um. Sorry if I'm going a little fast. Um, limit to 15 videos at the moment. 15 minutes. So, just let I thought I'd point out there. Okay, Wormpool's 50 HP. Grass Ram does 10. Normal energy doesn't need any. It's gonna be easy. Poison Sting does 20. One Grass, one any other energy. Flip a coin. If has the same Pokemon is not poisoned. You got two of them, of course. Re weakness is Fire. Re no resistance. Retreat cost is one. Silcoon, 80 HP is grass, of course. Ascension doesn't need any energy cards to use. Search your deck for a card that evolves from Silcoon and put it onto Silcoon. This counts as evolving Silcoon. Shelf for your deck afterwards. Sticky string, 20 damage. One grass, one normal, or any other energy you want, really. Flip a coin to Fez and Fang, but was not paralyzed. Weakness is fire with no resistance, and two retreat costs. And my beautiful 120 HP. Colorful Powder needs one energy. They both could those both attack, so you can tell it needs one energy. Colorful Powder does 20 plus. If Butterfly, Butterfly, Beautifly has two or less energy cards to the Defending Pokemon, is now Poison if Beautifly has three energy cards attached to the Defending Pokemon, is now Poisoned. If Beautifly has three or, um, my bad. Poison and Burn, my bad. I just read it the wrong way. Repeated one line. If Beautifly has four or more energy cards attached to it, this this attack does 20 damage plus 20 more damage, and then the Fanny Pokemon is now burnt asleep, burn, and poison. Silver Scale does 30. You know, the Fanny Pokemon has resistance. This, this attack base damage is 60 instead of 30. The weakness is electric. Resistance is fighting, and no retreat cost. So those are just the two basics that I use that don't have any Poke Powers. And I'm going to come with the Poke Powers, the Poke Bodies. From my deck, I'm gonna start with Flygon. Trapincha. Its Poke Power is worthless in my deck, but its evolutions help me out a lot. So, this is the only fighting card that's in my deck that has no need for it in it. But you know, 50 HP, grind. You can use any amount of energies you want. Does 10 damage times the number of energy cards attached to the Trapinch. Weakness is water. Weakness resistance is electric. And retreat cost is one. Vibrava, if that's how you say it. If not, I'm sorry. 
70 HP, it's normal. Energy Typhoon, the one energy needed. Does 20 damage times the number of energy cards in your opponent's discard pile. Then put those energy cards on top of your opponent's deck. Your opponent shuffles his or her deck afterwards. Quick attack does 20 plus. Flippy coin if has this attack damage. This attack does 20 damage plus 20 more damage. I'm sorry. I forgot to say it needs two energy cards attached to it. Weakness is normal. Resist is electric. And retreat cost is one. Flygon. This is a really good Poke body. I forgot where I got half these cards at, so I apologize. I can't tell you where to get them. 120 HP. It's normal for Rainbow Float. If any basic energy card attached to Flygon is the same color is, or is the same type as the, the Pokemon you have, the retreat cost for those Pokemon is zero. Sand Wall. This 40. You need two energy cards attached to it. Discard a stadium card your opponent has and play. If you do, prevent all attack. I mean, effects of an attack, including damage done to Flygon during your opponent's next turn. Power Swing. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm too busy reading and not seeing where it's heading, so my bad. Power Swing, 60 plus, needs 3 energies, does 60 damage plus 10 more damage for each of evolved Pokemon on your bench. Weakness is normal, resistance is electric, and a retreat cost. Which is kind of funny for the fact that Poke Power does that. So I'm going to go with my next one. Help me, the ledger helps me a lot with getting Pokemon I need and want, so I'm greedy. Weed Eatle, 60 HP. So, with grass type, of course, rescue string. Search your discard pile for up to five Pokemon, show them to your opponent, and shuffle them into your deck. Need Needling string, plus 10. Need one energy. Fill the coin of heads. This attack does 10 damage plus 10 more damage. Weakness is fire. Res there is no resistance, and retreat cost is one. By the way, the reason why I haven't said how many I got of each, because, uh, of course, I have two basics of e two basics of everything. One first stage and one second stage, as I probably mentioned before. If not, there you go. And I'll explain why in a moment. Kakuna, 8 HP, Grass, Exoskeleton. Any damage done to Kakuna by attack is reduced by 20. After applying Weakness and Resistance, and sadly enough, this attack does not have resistance, so I don't know why they add it, but... I guess it's just needed. <laughs> Dangerous evolution and defending a Pokemon is now poison for the coin of heads that search your disc your deck for an evolution card that evolves from Kakuna. Why not just say the actual name? I don't know. Then put it onto Kakuna. This counts as evolving Kakuna. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Needs one energy card attached to it. Weakness is fire, resistance. There isn't any a retreat cost is too. Beedrill is a really good card to have in the very beginning of your duel. Because it, with its fluttering wings, I'm sorry, it has 110 HP. Fluttering wings, once during your turn before you attack, you may search your deck for a grass type Pokemon, show it to your opponent, and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. This fire can't be used if Beedrill is affected by a special condition. Need needle Shock. Then, if any Pokemon is now paralyzed and poisoned, ignore this effect if any of your Pokemon use Needle Shock during your last turn. Which it does 30, need 3 energy attached to it, 1 leaf, grass, and 2 and any other. Weakness is fire, no resistance, and no retreat cost. With maybe my bad, 1 retreat cost. And, um, now we're going to go to Leafeon. I have 2 Eevees. 50 HP, it's a normal type. Sight of the Lucian, doesn't need energy required, so search your deck for up to 2 cards that evolve from Eevee. Show them to your opponent and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Attack is bounce. Needs one energy card attached to it. Does 10. Switch Eevee with one of your bench Pokemon. Resistance. I mean, what? Blah. Weakness is fighting. Resistance is none. And you don't have resistance. And retreat cost is one. Um, We have, of course, two Leaf Yawns. Which is only one I have two Stage 1s. So... Leafeon has 90 HP, it's a grass type, energy refresh, as long as Leafeon is your active Pokemon, whenever you're, you attach an energy card from your hand, you, your Pokemon, remove two damage counters from that Pokemon, it's like a potion, and it's the next attack, plus energy, 40 damage, we need two energy attached to it, one at least needs to be grass, attach a basic energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon, a soothing scent does 60, one grass, two any other colors you want. Defending a Pokemon is now asleep. Weakness is fire. Resistance is water. And retreat cost is two. 
So, and I'm going to end and stop the video there, guys. And part two, I'll be uploading in a few, hopefully, later. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. And tell me why you disliked it, and I'll see if I can change it. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.